Hey guys, it's Sprout here. Now, as we've all been waiting for it, a new update is coming. And if you are playing right now, you'll have seen the little message at the bottom saying maintenance is about to hit, don't do this, don't do that. The maintenance is in um, sort of prequel till the update goes live. So, all of this information I'm going to discuss is on your menu. You can go to menu and click this little speaker at the top so notices. Now I'm just going to go through it with a little bit of detail with you as I read it myself. So maintenance on the 5th week of May. Maintenance announcements. Announcement, sorry. This has obviously been already said. Check your local time. I think mine's in about uh, 11 o'clock at night, I think it'll be. So a couple of hours time. And I think it lasts for a couple of hours. So obviously gameplay will not be available. More details, blah, blah, blah. So the patch will probably be after the maintenance or during the maintenance, one of the two. Now, update, preview and event. So there's an event going on right now. If you haven't already got it in your mailbox, you should have had a... Where's it gone? It's gone anyway. But you should have got... What am I doing? You should have got three cargo vouchers. Now, if you go to shop in menu, go down to express cargo and you should have three furniture vouchers. See three out of three at the top there. I haven't got any for the other ones. So let's go ahead and open them, see what we get. So just go to purchase. And you can do this three times. Open your stupid little back bag which box here. What I get? Luxury refrigerator. Go to repurchase, purchase another one. I got a refrigerator. So look what else did I get? A round table. I can call in King Arthur and here's nights now. Uh, and what else did I get? I'd love to know what you all get, so let us know in the comments. A personal leather sofa. I'm very impressed with them. I'll receive all them. I'll put them somewhere eventually. Anyway, let's get back to the update. So back to notices. And <clears throat> update preview and event. So that's what it was telling us, basically. Let's have a first look through this time. This time's update. So the surprise update preview event. Event period, event gift, furniture, express, cargo voucher, times three, which is what I just opened. And you must log in, blah, 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 blah. You have to log in during the event. So, right, maintenance, let's have a look. What's this? Fifth week of May, which is now RSV house party event. Looks, oh, my domain looks nothing like that. I'm not that, uh, not that good. Get brand new patterns. This will be a great house party. Add some comfort to your life with new shelters. That's cool. I um, want to check my log cabin. I want a log cabin. A uh, big massive pool, which is a bit unrealistic for what this game is supposed to be. Unicorn tube and com compy pool. Whatever. Well, I'm not interested in that sort of shite. Anyway, let's go to the Savage Islands, because Savage Islands is what we've all been waiting for, at least I've been waiting for. So, Savage Islands. Introducing a new unstable island, the Savage Islands. Savage Islands are unlike any island you've seen before. In these islands, pioneers can fight together alongside their clan members against other clans and can also help or receive help from other clans. Bountiful resources can help you out on your adventure as well. Now, how to get there? This is important. You can only use a harbour in a civilised island, and you have to be level 56 or more. Obviously, I'm level 60, and I'm, I'm glad that I hit 60 before this update hit. Now, clan PvPs will be available within the Savage Islands, obviously. Pioneers in the same clan and those from alliance, allied clans will be allies, and the rest are your enemies. Now, if you don't know what I mean by this, if you go to clan, say you're running a clan, for instance, and you scroll down to the bottom, alliance, you can... Hmm, the Oblivious level 5, why not? I did not know I had an ally, but... Right, we've got an ally now, the Oblivious. So, we'll at least have one ally coming into it anyway. Ugh, I've got loads of pending requests. I do apologise if you're watching this video and you're one of these people and you've asked to join, I do apologise, but I'm currently full up. But if people are inactive, I do kick. I don't know if anyone's been inactive right now. I can't... Two days. Well, I'm sorry, Abudi, if you're watching, but two days is far too long for me. That's a day and a half. See, when they're low level like this and they've been offline for over a day, I tend to think that they've installed the game and they're not playing anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and kick all three of them. Level 18, he's got about, I don't know, a half day before I end up kicking him. So I'm going to reject the, I'm going to reject the two low levels that haven't been online for ages. And I'm going to accept this one that's been online four hours ago, so anyway. 
not requested to join, whatever, I'm not bothered. So if you're watching this, there is space in the clan now, three spaces, you can very well come join it. Anyway, back to the notice. Savage Islands, can't we? Right, pioneers without a clan do not have any allies in these savage lands, and you've been warned, apparently, which I think there's only one of our level 60 in my clan, so unless they're online when I am, I'll probably be by myself, which I think it's quite exciting being by yourself in a full PvP zone. Buildings are unavailable. Um, you can only build them in places called outposts, and these are like key strategic positions as, as, as far as I'm aware. And the constructions near outposts are only available for a limited period of time. So make sure, if you're going to build something, don't make it a really expensive construction. You know what I mean? Because it's just going to disappear. Now, items in the Savage Islands. All items that are acquired in the Savage Islands are in an unstable state. Now, if you don't know what I mean by that, if you've been to a level 60 island and you've found a warp remnants and you pick up some of these modern island, modern items like the coffee and the... The cat scratch pole and stuff, they're unstable. And the only way you can get them back is by using a courier war pole. And you put them in the courier war pole and that warps them back to your TM island or your civilized island war pole. And you can get them from there and that changes them to regular ones. Now, <clears throat> so if you die on a savage island, all your unstable items in your bag will be dropped. Of our regular items follow the same rules as any other item would on any other island. So what you want to do is, when you go on the Savage Island, if you plan on fighting people and you think you might die, just put everything on your pet. That's what I would do. Or put it all in the box before you left. If you're just planning on fighting and nothing else, I would just keep only our equipped items. Right, Courier Warpool and Savage Islands. Let's have a look. All Warpools and Savage Islands are Courier Warpools. Courier Warpools near the harbours of Savage Islands are all neutral Courier Warpools. Anyone can use them, they cannot be claimed. PvP is not allowed near them, so you can send your items freely without having to worry about others attacking you. Well, that's a bit better, because now if I find loads of stuff and it's unstable, I can just run to one of these and, and send them away without thought of being annihilated while I'm sending them. So all Korea warp holes, excluding the neutral ones, can be claimed. Pioneers with the claim permission within a clan can claim the courier warp hole. Claimed courier warp holes become an outpost for the claiming clans. Members of the clan that claims the courier warp holes do not have to pay fees to use it. So, the outposts are of our courier warp holes. So there must be loads of stuff to find on these uh, islands and I can't wait. Right, when a clan claims a courier warp hole to make it their outpost, the outpost goes into protection period. The first protection period is 6 days and 12 hours. So, 6 and a half days. Of protection. After this first protection period, then a war period is in effect for the next 12 hours. So that gives you a chance to steal it off someone. If you are able to protect the outpost during the war period, then you've succeeded in your first protection. The second protection period then continues on for six days and 24 hours of war is processed when the second protection period ends. So how long are these savage islands going to last for? Anyway, let's have a look. So it's giving you like a brief rundown of the protections and blah blah blah. 72 hours of war. Uh, I don't think I could steal that long to protect it. Um, during the protection period, other clans cannot claim your outpost. During the protection period, PvP is not available within the outpost. Buildings within the outpost cannot be attacked. Building that attack enemies automatically will not activate during the protection period. So you, you know how you get the clan building, which is an attack tower. It will not attack people while in the protection period. So build a warp hole tuner to effectively resist against your enemy's attacks. Defense tower automatically attacks the enemy within range, but it will not attack during this period. That's what I've just said. Pioneers can also ride catapults to use it. Mm. This is not related to combat related skills. I want a catapult now. You can also create other constructions, but please be aware that they may be destroyed by the enemy when the war period starts. Oh god. Right, let's have a look. War period. Wow, did I? You can read all this yourself. I mean, I, I haven't got that many level 60s in my clan. If, if you're out there and you need a clan, come join us. I need more soldiers. One clan, one outpost. Yes, obviously. I'd imagine so. Advanced Research Centre. Clan that claimed outposts will be able to build Advanced Research Centre within the outposts. Advanced Research Centre, a higher version of Clan Research Centre, gains more powerful status effects to clan members. Awesome. I don't have a Clan Research Centre because my clan isn't high enough level. Let's have a look. The follow following animals can be captured by activating Research Advanced Capture. Ankylosaurus. So how the 
How have people got ankylosauruses now if you have to wait until you're on a savage island? I don't get it. Sea tooth, tropical sea about tooth. Direwolf, Utahraptor, Gallimimus. Gallimimus. Uh, stuff I don't. I would love a sea about tooth, but the rest of them I'm not really bothered about. Advanced quality gathering. So if you activate advanced quality gathering, you will have a higher chance to get rare attributes in your gathering materials near the outposts. Get in. Effective range, blah blah blah. Yes. To conclude, these savage islands are only available until the new combat systems are introduced. We will announce beforehand on when the savage islands will disappear. We will come back with new savage islands when we have tested the new implementations. New combat systems will be impl impl implemented at the end of June, so we've got another month to wait, or two. Uh, please note that the upcoming combat systems will be for the battles between pioneers and animals. Crowd PvP combat has not been through the test stages just yet. The new Savage Islands will be introduced when the new PvP combat system has been finalised. Thank you. So, quite a lot of take in there, if you haven't quite understood it yourself while you've been going through. So basically, if I go to clan, because my character is asleep, go to level, I get a research centre, or we get a research centre, at level 11, 12, 13. And you get the catapult blueprint of 14, I'm level 7. I need to start uh, recruiting more people, I think. So anyway, that has been the video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like. And do remember to subscribe to the channel because as soon as the Savage Islands come out, I'm going to be running around killing anyone I can find. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.